virtual racing? I think it's uh, I think it's a bit of a a savior in terms of um, for the sport. You know, I mean, it doesn't suit me. It doesn't suit how I race. It doesn't. Uh, you know, I don't. I, I find it hard to get emotionally involved in it. You know, but I do love it. I, it makes training so much easier. You know, for me, I'm always like riding an ergs, just like the worst. So I go down there and I just like jump on ride for five minutes, do a couple of races, and then in between races, I just freewheel. And then I sort of, by the end of the day, I've had two hours, and it's been really hard, and it's it's fun. Um, but it is gaining traction. I mean, you look at, like, these are world champs, and it's come at the right time. I mean, for the, the thing that I think that's so good about it at the moment is it's giving exposure to sponsors. Um, exactly. Like, the amount, of people's that, the amount of people that are tuning into these races. I mean, someone told me that the... Swift Tour of Flanders had seven hundred thousand people watch it in Belgium. I think, man, that's that's nuts. That, but it's it's probably the only virtual world where it's as much as it's you're watching what is essentially a computer game. It's powered by by real human effort. So it's it's you know that the people suffering are, there's people suffering on the end of that line. It's not who can push X the fastest. It's who can actually ride a bike 